Hello. Um, this is me again. Um, it's been a week since my surgery today. Um, it's around uh, six o'clock. So about a week ago, I was still pretty unconscious from the anesthesia. Um, but I was thinking earlier today, like around around three o'clock, and I was like. And then last week my face was like getting mutilated right now and it's kind of it's kind of interesting to think about um but it came a long way uh there's been good and bad things have happened uh funny things have happened too um but really the worst thing about it uh for the first couple of days has been the uh the congestion that i've had well, because they had to cut through this top, you know, when they cut through here, the top uh, gum line, they cut through my sinuses too. So, um, I've had a lot of uh, mucus just running around doing whatever it wants. And, you know, I can't blow my nose because if I blow my nose, I, I put some air in between, uh, you know, everything that's, everything that's going on and healing in there. And, uh, also, uh, you know, I, I can't swallow, really, because everything's just so swollen with my throat. Uh, you can see, like, how big it is right there. Uh, but it, it's difficult to swallow. Um, so I've just been kind of letting it just, you know, run around and do whatever it wants. Uh, but this just made it so hard to breathe. Uh, it's given me all these, like, headaches and everything. Which the pain medication doesn't help too much with, with the headaches. Um, but... You know, it's, um, 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 I think right now on day seven, uh, the congestion's at the best that it's been. It doesn't really bother me too much right now. Uh, but like, like yesterday, I remember, it was still very hard to breathe. Um, but, you know, I had, I, I got my mom to buy me a nasal spray. Um, the first nasal spray I had, when you put it in your nose, it would just squirt the note like you would push it and the, the button would like activate like a spray bottle and it would spray it into your notes so that was pretty easy to use uh, but now I have this one and this one you squeeze the bottle and it shoots it in there uh, but for the first one that I had uh, you know it was pretty nice this one like I said when you squeeze it uh, just a couple bubbles come out and the first time I used it I, uh, I, nothing was coming out and I was getting frustrated, so I tilted my head back and squirted, and about two ounces of this stuff just went straight into my mouth, and it shot out of my teeth, um, it was, it was pretty funny, uh, like I was just squirting and this stuff was just shooting out of my mouth, and it just went all over the floor and my dog was just looking at me, and I, you know, I had no other choice, it just all went all over the floor, and, uh, I just stand there spitting up this stuff. That was pretty funny. Uh, that's one of the, the good memories. Um, may not be good to you. I mean, just don't be dumb like me. Um, but another pretty bad thing that happens, though, is uh, the difficulty sleeping. Um, at nighttime, the pain gets really, really bad. Uh, during the day, like right now, it's not too bad. It just kind of feels like you know if you if you've had braces, um, the uh, the the feeling when you get your spacers in those little rubber bands that they put around so they can put the brackets on your molars, uh, it just feels like that all around my teeth. Um, and you know I have I have weird like pains up here on my temple, um, and then uh, like right here it just kind of hurts too. Um, but at night time, everything just gets so much worse. Um, and I feel like the swelling increases at night time, too. I think you just get tired from fighting the pain all day, and then at night time, you know, you naturally get tired, so you just don't have too much left in you. Also, just because, you know, I haven't been eating too much, it's hard to keep my strength up. Um, but at night time, you know, it's just, it's been terrible. Um, and it really, it really taught me that you got to keep up on your medication. Even if, you know, like, you're supposed to, t I'm supposed to take this one called Roxaset every four hours. Um, that's for the pain. And every four hours, 
Uh, sometimes you know I, I like kind of procrastinate or I forget when that I when I I need it or when I last used it. So I would use it like five hours. Um, but the pain just comes out of nowhere, it just creeps up and then hits you. Uh, so I would just recommend to keep on your medication, even if you feel like you don't need it. Um, just keep taking it uh, at, at specific times because you know, like at nighttime too. That's another really big thing. Uh, after you know. You, you go to sleep for, you know, at least, like, however long you sleep. Uh, and then, like, today, last night, for example, I went to bed at, like, 2 o'clock in the morning. And I woke up at 7. So that's 5 hours in between. And, you know, I already had really bad pain from, uh, from, you know, dealing with the, the, the thing, with the pain at night time. And then when the pain medication wore off, I'll tell you what, that was just horrible. Uh, your face is just really swollen, and you just wake up into, like, this, this horrible thing of pain. Um, but, and, you know, even, I, th I think even I should set my alarm, too, and take my medication every four hours, uh, just so I can get some better quality sleep, too. Um, but, you know, I've been taking it every four hours so far today, and it's been, it's been helping me quite a bit. Um... Let me see, I wrote everything. There's so much to say, really, because it's huge surgery. Um, the swelling, really... Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um, I've had a lot of friends visit me. Um, and that's helped to keep my mind off of everything. Um, you know, I have a mom there for me, too. She took a week off of work, and she's, you know, watching movies and stuff with me. And she, she makes my, uh, my banana milkshakes. And uh, she makes my chicken broth, and she just does anything she possibly can. Um, like, like she knows sometimes too. Like you just don't feel like talking, you don't feel like hearing anyone talk to you. Uh, you just want to sit there, uh, you know, watch TV or something. Um, so she's not really taking it personally. She's doing a great job, and I, you know, I, I don't know what I would be doing right now without her. Um, and also all my friends too that have come to see me. I, I, like just having one friend to come see me feel awesome um you know you don't feel like you're just forgotten about uh and you know i i love everybody that came to see me they're all awesome people and uh you know i love everybody that texts me and everything it feels awesome or calls me um you're all great people and uh and another thing too i so what was i saying uh, the swelling um it comes and goes uh sometimes it, it's like you feel like you're going down and swelling and then the next day it'll just come back up in a different spot. Uh, they give you steroids after the surgery uh, to fight the swelling. And uh, yes, or two days ago, uh, the swelling like increased. Like up here it just felt a lot more puffy. Um, and I called the surgeon and they said that's because the steroids were starting to wear off. Um, so that day sucked too. Um, it's starting to, all the swelling starting to die down, I think, right now. I might flare up again tomorrow. Um, and, uh, which also brings me to the last thing, too. Um, you know, I, I, you feel good enough to do things. Like, I can, like, I've been playing guitar. It sounds funny, but I've been, like, you know, singing when I play guitar, too. Uh, just, you know, just something to do. Um, and it, it, it sounds pretty funny. Uh, and then I took a walk for about a mile yesterday too and you feel good enough to do things but you learn your lesson after you do too much because later that day you'll feel so tired because you haven't been able to eat enough calories for the things that you're doing um, and you just it just hits you at one time and the pain just overwhelms you uh, so, you may feel good enough to do things, but just pace yourself, and don't try to do too much at the same time. Or at least in the same day, just, you know, like, plan everything out slowly. Um, but yeah, this video is going on pretty long. Uh, but, you know, thanks for watching one week. Um, it's not too bad right now, and I'm getting, becoming a stronger person. I already lost eight pounds. Uh, but, you know, I feel good on the inside, and I still, uh, will recommend the surgery to anybody who needs it. Um, no, I would do it again if I had to. Um, even if they had to do it again, because something messes up, I'm going to do it, because this is just, it's life-changing. 
Uh, but thank you so much for watching, and I'll post a video on Monday when I have my post-operation appointment. Love y'all.